When I was in school, I was taught you solve things that look like this with this. I mean, it worked well enough. Label the numbers A, B, and C, then plug them into the formula. After a bit of arithmetic, or using a calculator if you're lucky, you'd have your answer. At least that was one way to do it. The hard part was memorizing the clunky formula. The other main way was probably equally as infamous, factoring. These equations could be written as a product of linear factors that gave us the solutions as well. How do you find those factors? The trick is that the two solutions multiply to the C term and also add to the B term. You can usually figure these out in your head if the numbers are simple enough, but we can use these ideas as equations as well, along with an interesting observation about the graphical solutions to quadratic equations. The solutions to these equations are where the graph crosses the x-axis, and the midpoint between them is their sum divided by 2. Well, we already know what the sum of the solutions should be. It's the B term. So the B term over 2 is the midpoint of the two solutions. This is very similar to the vertex formula for quadratic equations. Now by definition, the midpoint is the same distance from each of the two solutions. Call this distance u. Since all of these lie on a number line, the smaller solution is the midpoint minus u, and the larger solution is the midpoint plus u. Substitute this idea into the other piece we use to factor, that the product of the solutions equals c, and this happens to be a difference of squares. When we distribute, this works out quite nicely, and it's easy to solve algebraically. The solution here will have a positive and a negative, but since we're calling u a distance, let's restrict our solution to just be the positive. Substitute u back in, and we have our solutions. In practice, we can skip a bunch of these steps, and our process is much easier. Here's a fairly hard example if you wanted to factor or use the quadratic formula. How do we do it? Find the midpoint of the solutions by using the vertex formula, minus b over 2a. The distance from the midpoint to the solutions is u. And our process showed u squared is the midpoint squared minus the c term. Quickly solve for u. The solutions are the midpoint minus u and the midpoint plus u, giving us our answer. 